Okay, our next speaker this afternoon uh, before the question and answer period is Ruben Arias from the California Department of Food and Agriculture. He's going to talk to us about nursery regulations. Uh, good afternoon. Um, I don't have a PowerPoint uh, presentation, but my talk will be getting us back on schedule. It's uh, very short and to the point. Uh, statewide, uh, we have uh, nurseries in place in California, and the topic I'm talking about is what, what happens when we encounter a pest that's injurious to agriculture in nursery situations. Uh, usually the counties and commissioner's office, there's 58 counties in the state, and they provide the manpower and the eyes and ears uh, to go out and do these inspections. Every nursery that has a nursery license is uh, inspected, and uh, we have uh, pest cleanliness standards that we have to meet, or they have to meet, that we enforce. Once the inspection uh, procedure uh, is undertaken, we go to the nursery and we uh, visually inspect what is, uh, uh, what's on their premises. And when we do encounter something, we will put it on hold uh, and take a sample of it. When we say put it on hold, that nursery grower cannot move that uh, nursery stock until it's uh, determined what that pest is. It's given a rating. I want to talk about the state rating that uh, the state lab has when they di diagnose the pest. Uh, a rating is a known is, is an insect that, or disease that is known of an economic importance uh, to agriculture and is not known to occur or is in limited distribution in the state. That's your A rating. Your B rating is usually a local infestation or disease uh, of uh, more of a local uh, instead of uh, statewide. The other one is a common, uh, it's rated C. It's more of your common pests, your lady beetles, well, that's the beneficials, but your common pests, aphids and so forth, that we might find on roses and so forth, but that's the, the C rating. A Q rating, and I believe this is what this pest is rated at the time because it is a new pest to California. And this Q rating is given to a pest that uh, we're trying to, the state is trying to gather more information about what, what uh, what is in the importance of it into uh, agriculture and in the area? So a Q rating is established and gives the state time to gather information. Uh, it's been said that this has been uh, in uh, California for, for probably a while, but we don't have enough written information as to, as, to give it an established rating. And again, the material goes on hold. The samples are sent into Sacramento for identification and determine what the rating is. Once the information is retrieved from the state, I mean, to, uh, to the biologist in the fields, uh, they would go back and determine if it's an A-rated pest, uh, that's a quarantine situation, and uh, they'll be dealt accordingly. So the, the nursery person has a few options uh, in uh, handling the pest. One of them is give him a chance to treat it, to clean up his infestation. And uh, if he gives him so, many, so much time to do it within a, a regional period, if he's not able to clean it up, then of course it's destroyed. And so it doesn't go into the nursery channels. So with that, I'd just like to conclude and thank you for having me here to give you an update on the nursery. Oh, one thing I do want to say is, if it's something that, uh, that uh, Sacramento needs to get out to a word to the, to the counties, what they'll do is put out a nursery advisory. I believe um, our office in Sacramento is working on putting something together to alert the counties, know what to look for and when they're do conducting their nursery inspections. So this is gonna be a high priority for them. Thank you. Thank you.